make a quick video to show you the progress on my D16 1.7 stroker motor. I am uh, slowly collecting parts as you can see. Starting up at the top end, it's got a D16 A6 non VTEC single overhead cam head done by Endyne Engine Dynamics out of Fort Worth, Texas. They did a amazing work on this. It's got full custom combustion chambers. Um, Larry Widmer down there, he uh, hand machined each valve, so these are all custom valves, valve springs, full port and polish. It also has a custom Endyne uh, bump stick done by webcams out of California. They did a hard weld uh, where they take a factory camshaft and they weld additional material on it and then grind it to the Endyne specifications. This gives it more lift and duration, yada yada. Uh, anyways. Moving on down, we have the custom Endyne Roller Wave Pistons, also done by uh, Larry. These are actually made by Wiseco to the Endyne specifications. These are 12.3 to 1 compression ratio, and these are unique to my engine build because I'm using a 1.7 crank, so you have to relocate the wrist pin to compensate for the added stroke of this engine. So these are actually one-of-a-kind pistons. Uh, moving on down, we also have these K1 Technology Connecting Rods. These are actually made for the D17. So this is the only part that's uh, essentially D17 specific for my motor so far. This and the crankshaft, of course. Uh, I'm going to be utilizing the stock D16A6 engine block, so it will appear stock uh, on the outside. Just look like a normal non-VTEC single overhead cam, but it's going to be a 12.3 to 1 compression, 1.7 stroker motor with a custom webcam and a cylinder head and uh, haven't made up my mind on what kind of uh, header I want to run. I've got the Skunk 2 Alpha header which is uh, pretty good quality and I've also got a authentic uh, Mugen header made for the ZC or single overhead cam and uh, both are actually really good quality. The The Mugen one needs to be recoded because it's obviously a uh, 25 plus years old, but it doesn't have any dense damage. No cracks, uh, just a little bit of the uh, original finish on it is no longer there. So I'm going to have it professionally uh, high temp coated and uh, it should be ready to roll. We might kind of switch them up and see what kind of uh, dyno comparisons we can get between the two headers, but uh, we'll deal with that when we get there. Uh, haven't decided on intake manifold yet. I've been talking a little bit with uh, Scott over at King Motorsports, uh, see if I can convince him to do a custom intake manifold for this engine, but uh, I guess when I get a little bit further along in my progress, I'll keep you updated. So until then, uh, talk to you later.